Hey guys, I'm Claire the Fiddly Fig Girl, and today I want to talk about a problem that you may be having with your fiddle, and that's exposed roots in your root system. So a lot of times we see plants over time, if they've outgrown their container, they actually start growing roots up out of the soil, and you can see the roots coming out of the pot, and that is telling you something important about your plant. It's telling you that it doesn't have enough room, that it wants to grow bigger, that it's not happy, and that it needs more space. So in a similar vein, if you're noticing that your plant hasn't grown in a lot of time, it doesn't maybe look as happy as you want it to look and it just looks kind of stagnant, this is one thing that you could look out for is whether it's root bound and whether you have any exposed roots growing up because basically fiddly figs, if they run out of space in their container, they do stop growing because you need a, a root system to grow to support the growth of the plant up top. And so if you're noticing that your plant is a bit stagnant, you may want to check to see if it is root bound. So if you're starting to see exposed roots or roots growing up from the base of your plant, or if you're noticing that your fiddly fig is root bound, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to repot your plant. And so I recommend going two to four inches up in diameter of the pot. So if you have an eight inch pot, say, you would change it out for a 12 inch pot. This is gonna give your root ball a lot of space to grow. Now you don't wanna go too big too fast because if you put a small fiddle in a very large pot, it can hold too much water and that can damage your plant and lead to root rot. So you kinda of wanna gradually upsize for the best health of your plant. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is basically move it into a larger pot size and put it down a little bit in the pot so that you can cover or what's called top dress the soil. So you want probably two inches of new soil on top of any roots at the top of your plant. So basically put it in a larger container. We make a great soil. It's called fiddly fig soil. It's perfectly formulated for the health of a fiddly fig root system. So I will link that below. But you can use the soil. It's very light and porous. And then basically cover the top of your root ball with at least two inches of soil. This will allow your plant to have its root ball be protected, to retain more moisture, and just to be happier and to grow faster. And you'll see big results from this. You know, if you do this once a year, your fiddle will look really, really healthy and it will continue that strong growth year after year. Now, one more product that I wanna mention, if you're gonna go through the process of repotting your fiddly fig, a cool thing to add is our houseplant probiotic product. Now, this is a ton of different bacterial strains of probiotics that you dredge into the soil and it creates a healthy microbial system within your soil. This can improve the way that your plant takes up nutrition from the soil and also the aeration of your soil. So over time, you will have a healthier soil biome and better plant growth and also better plant immunity. So this is a really fun product to use. You basically just dredge in a couple of teaspoons into the soil as you're repotting and it can really help jumpstart the probiotic load of your soil. I hope this video is helpful. If you want more tips on how to repot your fiddly fig, I will link to a video below. And if you wanna check out that soil or the houseplant probiotic, I will link below as well. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.